So the new meta right now in Call of Duty Warzone is actually sniping. Everyone's doing it. People are standing everywhere, further distances, just trying to pick people off with a bunch of snipers. Now I got two classes within this video that I'm gonna show you guys. One of them is if you're not that great at sniping and more for hard scoping and stuff like that and super long range. And the other class is if you're a beast at sniping, go ahead and use that one because you will be able to run and gun and drop literally everyone. So guys, use snipers in this game mode. Trust me, start getting good with them. They are super worth it. And I got two amazing class setups for you guys that are pretty much way overpowered and they, they're the only guns in the entire war zone map that could actually one shot people so guys check these out What is up guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Call of Duty Warzone video. Today we're going to be talking about two overpowered sniper class setups. Now I love these classes, they're really damn good, but before we get into the actual classes, if you guys could drop a like on this video, we're going to go for exactly 1000 on this one and let me know down in the comments below if you like sniping, if you like the new meta, or if you guys just don't like it whatsoever and you don't want people sniping. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments and subscribe with those notifications turned on as well. That really helps me out a lot. But yeah, let's get into this guys. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the three perks that go great with actual sniping classes and go great for this game mode in general so the first one being cold-blooded this is really good because it makes you undetectable by ai targeting systems and thermal optic and you're also immune to snapshot grenades so the only real important thing here is that thermal optic a lot of people are sniping a lot of people are using this to pick people off and you do not want to be seen when someone is looking at you with a thermal scope so cold-blooded is really worth having just for that right there the next one is going to be ghost and this makes you undetectable by uavs radar drones heartbeat sensors and high alert and you could also hide the death markers of enemies you kill so that enemies don't actually know where their teammates died now the good thing about this is a lot of people run uavs i think everyone buys a uav at the shopping carts radar drones doesn't really matter but high heartbeat sensors a lot of people use those as well and it's probably one of the best metas in the actual game to use a heartbeat sensor so guys go ahead and use ghost be undetectable by that and it really will help you guys out a lot you'll see you'll be dying a lot less to enemies randomly coming up behind you because they won't have uavs up and they won't be able to see you with it when they do now amped is also for the perk three and this is what i really recommend especially when using a sniper class because it allows you guys for actual faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed the rocket launcher reload speed doesn't really matter but the faster weapon swap is super important in case people do start rushing up on you while you're trying to snipe you could switch to your weapon really fast and drop them easily but let's get into the actual classes we're going to talk about my favorite one first and then we're going to go into the run and gun class this is the reason this is my favorite class is because i just like hard scoping when i'm playing battle royales it just feels more realistic it makes me feel like i'm more part of the game and stuff and i don't know what it is i just love doing it so i call this the bush camping class so you guys could kill anybody who's camping in bushes but you're also the dude who will be camping in bushes with this gun right here so the first thing you want to run is the muzzle and you want the monolithic suppressor with that this gives you sound suppression so people can't hear your shots exactly where they're coming from when you're shooting and standing in the same spot too long but it also gives you damage range which is super important in this game mode because the damage range is going to let you get those kills at super long distances now the only thing that sucks with this class i'm going to warn you guys right now is that the ads is very slow so this is more of a hard scoping class rather than a quick scoping class so that's what this attachment takes away and it also takes away some aim walking steadiness which kind of sucks as well but you're going to be standing in one spot for a long time moving around very little trying to pick off a bunch of kills maybe you're going to be on top of a mountain maybe you're going to be on top of a building but this is the class you want to use for hitting those shots the barrel is going to be the Syngard arms pro this gives you damage range again which is super important and bullet velocity so you don't really have to aim so high and not know if you're going to hit the target when you're going for those real real far shots now again it does take away ads speed now the next one is going to be optic which we're going to be using the thermal dual power scope this is great because it gives you thermal target identification so you can see if people are camping in bushes you can see exactly where people are and you could hit them really far rather than using a regular scope and not being able to see them but it also gives you the magnification toggle so you guys can actually toggle to zoom in a lot closer and help you hit those shots a lot easier or you could toggle out and get a bigger view of your surroundings and hopefully spot people that you wouldn't be able to while you're toggled in now again it does take away ads speed and aiming stability you guys can see it right there man the 
ADS is not that great on this class, but it does cap out at two negatives. So there's two attachments that have negatives for ADS. The third one doesn't matter. It doesn't change the gun whatsoever. The fourth one doesn't change it. So even the, the negative ADS speeds on the other attachments, they don't matter. The ammunition, we're going to be using the nine round mags. So you don't have to reload as often or anything like that. Now, again, this one does take away ADS, but it does cancel it out because we already have two negative ADS speeds on this class right here. So you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to be the slowest gun to aim down sights. And the last attachment is going to be the rear grip granulated grip tape for that aiming stability and aim walking steadiness in case you do have to walk left and right while hard scoping you will be able to actually keep your gun pretty steady now it does take away some aim walking movement speed so while you are aiming down sights you will be moving a little slower but let's get into the run and gun ax50 class this is a fun one to use this is if you're really good at sniping and you could hit those quick scopes but i will say it's not meant for camping on buildings it's not meant for camping on mountains and it's it's really not because you're not going to get those super super far long range shots unless you hit the head and this, these guns are both one shot to the head so if you guys can hit those headshots go ahead and do it they're both great for that so this one right here it's great if you want to just switch to a to a sniper really fast get someone at mid-range and move on with your other weapon an smg or an assault rifle or anything like that so this one i would recommend the muzzle monolithic suppressor exactly like the first class just so we could get that sound suppression and that damage range we need as much damage range as possible on this class because we are kind of losing it with the next attachment that we'll get into now we do get eight we do lose ads speed again and we do lose aim walking steadiness but you guys don't have to worry that's the only ads we're going to be losing on this class we're actually going to be gaining a lot of it back so that's great the barrel is going to be the 17.0 inch factory barrel this one is great for that ads speed and that movement speed but it does take away some bullet velocity and recoil control so if you get further than the mid-range shots if you get to the zone where you start hitting those long-range shots if you're aiming directly at the person's head it's probably only going to hit his belly button or something like that just because of the bullet velocity so you're gonna have to aim higher than the head when you get to those real long distances just to get the headshots on and you do lose recoil control but it's a sniper you're, this one's a quick scoping one you don't really care about that you're gonna be unscoping every single shot you take anyways the next attachment on this one is going to be the laser which is going to be the tack laser really important to run for that ads speed that we definitely want and that aiming stability and aim walking steadiness so we get those three actual positives right there and the only negative to this is that the laser is visible when you're aiming down sights but if you're using this class just for quick scoping and not for hard scoping you don't have to worry about your laser being visible because it's only going to be visible for like half a millisecond when you actually do complete the ads animation and stuff like that so don't even worry about that one it's really good to run nonetheless and if we were using like the 5mw laser then i would worry because that one is where the laser is visible while you're not adsing while you're just standing still and not aiming down sights the next attachment is going to be stock which we're going to be using the syngard arms assassin and the only reason we want to use this is for the ads speed we don't really care about much else we just want the ads speed for this one and it does take away some aiming stability but i, I really like this one just for that ads speed just to go for those quick scopes and that brings us on to the last attachment, which is going to be the rear grip stippled grip tape. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to run this or if I wanted to run a perk on the class. And if I was going to run a perk, I was going to run sleight of hand so I could actually reload the gun faster because we're not using any extra bullets in the mag. But I figured the rear grip stippled grip tape is a lot better in terms of the fact that it gives you sprint to fire speed and it gives you ADI speed. In case you are caught running with your sniper in your hands, you'll be able to stop aiming really fast and shoot really damn fast. You know, don't really have to worry about that or if someone just pops up out of nowhere right in front of your face you guys could actually go ahead and hip fire them and get that shot after sprinting so it's really good for that but again it does take away aiming stability and the reason i don't like that being taken away which we have two attachments that take it away on this class and only one that gives it which means one of them cancels the other one out so we have one negative towards aiming stability so if you are trying to hard scope with this class this gun won't be as stable as you would hope but whatever man still a good class still one of my favorite classes in the game but the first class i gave you guys the bush camping class that was the best one that one i love man i'm hitting shots that i shouldn't even be able to hit like it's just it's just crazy good it's such a good class and i really recommend a lot of you guys go ahead and use it because it's just if fun to use gets the distance and if you hit those headshots which aren't hard to hit whatsoever in this game mode you'll be noticing that you'll be killing a lot of people and even if you miss the headshot and you hit them in the stomach or something you're taking away all of their shield all of their armor so your teammates could go in and push them and easily take them out so go ahead 
use these classes, but there's one thing I don't like about sniping is when you do knock someone at such a long distance, you're probably not getting the kill because they're going to hide behind an object and get revived so fast. But at least you know where they are, you stop them where they are, and if you hit those headshots and hit the other guys as well, it's fun as hell. But nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching. If we could go for a thousand likes on this one, that would be amazing. Let me know what you guys think of sniping in this game mode down in the comments below, and subscribe with those notifications turned on. I love you guys, that would be amazing if you did it, so yeah, just do it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.